Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create Prevere clients from Google Sheets row. I want that whenever a new row is added in my Google Sheets along with the data, automatically by using the same response, a new client should be added in my Prevere account, which is an amazing CRM software. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate Google Sheets with Prevere. And for that we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have Google Sheets in our trigger and Prevere in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new row will be added in our Google Sheets, automatically by using the same details, a new client is going to be added in our Prevere account. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically create clients in Prevere by using the data we have in our Google Sheets. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate Google Sheets with Prevere. And for that we are going to use Fabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now here this is the home page of Fabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing fabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on the home page we can find two options here sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it is not going to take more than two minutes. Also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software. Now because I'm already an existing user therefore I'm clicking on sign in and this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow we are going to use Pabli Connect so let's click on access now and it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard we can find all of our workflows which we have created and we can also create multiple folders like this in order to save our workflows. So as you can find that I have two folders on this dashboard. In this test integration folder I have saved a lot of workflows. So in the same manner you can also save your workflows by creating multiple folders. Okay now in order to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's click on it and a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So I have given the name as create Previer clients from Google Sheets. So you can give any name to your workflows according to your choice. After giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save our work. So from the drop down I am going to select the folder as test integrations as I want to save this particular workflow in test integrations folder. Okay. Click on create. And as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire workflow runs. Okay, the trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. We can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's understand the concept of trigger and action once again with the example of this workflow. Here we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and preview in our action and we want that as soon as a new row will be added in our Google Sheets along with the details automatically by using the same response a new client should be created and added in preview. Okay so here our action is the response towards the trigger. Now after understanding the concept of trigger and action let's start creating this workflow. First of all we will have to select our trigger application which is Google Sheets. Let's select it. And now we have to select the trigger event. So in the trigger event we will select new or updated spreadsheet row. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So here we want that whenever a new row will be added in our spreadsheet automatically the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect. So let's select the trigger event. And here we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So in order to capture the response we will have to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. And this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge in order to send the response of Google Sheets here in Pabli Connect. So basically we are going to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL. So first of all let us copy the webhook URL. And then I am going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So let me take you towards the Google Sheet. And here this is a spreadsheet which I have created which is named as Prevere Clients and it contains the fields such as name, email, lead source and the contact. I want that as soon as a new row will be added in this particular spreadsheet along with the details automatically the response should be captured in Pabli Connect and by using the same response a new client should be created in Prevere. Okay, for that we are going to connect this particular spreadsheet with Pabli Connect and for that we have to go on this extensions option. Okay, here after coming on extensions we have to go on add-ons and then we have to click on get add-ons. And it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace where we have to search Pabli Connect Webhooks. Okay, so let's select Pabli Connect Webhooks and basically we need to install Pabli Connect Webhooks. So as you can find that I have already installed it. So we will simply cross it and we will again go on extensions 
and now here we can find the option of Pabli Connect by Books. On it, we have to select Initial Setup. So basically, we have to do an initial setup in order to connect our spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. While doing the initial setup, we have to enter the details in two fields. First of all, the webbook URL and then the trigger column. So in the field of webbook URL, we just have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So just paste it. And now we will come on trigger column. So what is this trigger column? Trigger column is the last column in the spreadsheet in which the data is entered. So here in this spreadsheet, we can find that column D is the last column in which the data is entered. After column D, there is no data. Therefore, our trigger column will be column D here. So basically, the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data in the spreadsheet will be entered up till this column, the response is going to be captured in Pabli Connect. So in this particular spreadsheet, whenever the data will be entered up till column D, then only the response is going to be captured in Pabli Connect. So we will simply type capital D here as this is our trigger column and then we will click on send test. So the test data is sent successfully on Pabli Connect. Let's go and check. And here we can find that yes, we have received the response. So as soon as we have done the initial setup, here we have received the response in Pabli Connect. And we have received the same response which we have entered in the Google Sheet. Okay. So the name is test user, lead source, ABC website, email, and the contact number. Okay, so we have received all the details. Now, what is our motive? Our motive is to create a new client in Privia by using this response. Okay, so let's move towards our action step. Here in the action application, we will select Privia. And now we will select the action event. So what we want, we want to create a new client in Previa. So we will simply select the action event as create client. Click on connect. And now from the given options, as we are connecting Previa with Public Connect for the first time, therefore I'm going to select add new connection. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. When we will click on add new connection, we have to enter a Previa authentication token here. Now from where we are going to find this token, for that we have to go on our Previa account and under integration tab, we will find Public Connect there and there we will find our token. Let me take you to my Previa account. So this is the client section of Previa account. Now we have to go on integrations. And we will search for Pabli Connect. Yes, we can find the option of Pabli Connect here. Let's simply select it. And here is our authentication token. So I will copy it and paste it here in Pabli Connect. So in the same manner, you have to find the authentication token from your Previa account. Click on save. And our Previa account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So we will move on. And here we have to enter the details in order to create a new client. So first of all, it is asking us for the name. As we know that we want to create new Previa clients by using the response which we have received from Google Sheets. So we are going to use the same response which we have received from Google Sheet in order to map the details here. So what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. So we will simply select our previous step like this. And here we can find all the details. So here we have to enter the name. The name is given over here. We will simply select it and it is mapped. Now, why we have mapped this name instead of entering it manually? Because we want that as soon as a new response will be captured in Public Connect from Google Sheets, automatically the data in this field should be replaced. That means I want that whenever a new Google Sheet response will be captured in Public Connect, this name should be replaced with a new name of a new person. Okay, but if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change. Therefore, in the workflow, wherever we want that the data should replace automatically, there we use mapping. And when we want that data should remain same for each and every response, there we use static map. That is, we type the data manually there. Okay, so after mapping the name, we will move on and the next it is asking us for the lead source. That means here we have to enter the source from where we have generated this lead. So I have also created a column of lead source here and I have entered a random website name. So I'm simply going to map that by using the previous response like this. And the source of this lead is mapped over here. Now, because I have used mapping here, every time I will enter a new lead source here in another row and the response will be captured in Public Connect automatically in the lead source field, a new data will come over here. Okay, now the next is email. So in the same manner, we will map the email which is given over here and at last the phone number. So here, this is the phone number. So because we have not received the phone number along with the country code from Google Sheets response, therefore I am going to enter 
the code here manually and because i am entering this code manually therefore every time a new response will be captured this code will remain same as 91 and only the phone number will be replaced because we have mapped the phone number okay so after this the next is keys so if you want you can also add additional customer details in the form of keys but it is written that if you want to enter more than one key then you have to use comma and a space so if you want to assign more than one keys then you will enter a key then you will use a comma and a space and then you will enter another key in the same manner you have to enter your keys so here for now i do not want to enter any additional customer details therefore i'm ignoring these two fields okay let's click on save and send test request and we can find that we have received the response and also a client id is received to us so because we have received this client id that means a new client has been created in preview so let's go and check we will go back and we will go on the client section. So here are the list of clients which we have in our Prevere account. And in this list, we can find that a new client is also added over here with the name as test user, which we have recently created. Okay, so because the client is created in Prevere, that means our integration is successful. Now we have to do one more thing. We will go back on our spreadsheet and now we have to go on extensions. Then we will go on Pabli Connect Web Books and this time we have to click on Send On Events. So when we click on send on events, we have made sure that every time a new row will be added in this particular spreadsheet, automatically the data of that row will be keep on sending in Pabli Connect and the workflow will run smoothly. Okay, so that is why we have to click on send on events. Now when we have clicked on send on events, let's check this workflow once again. I'm going to add a new row in the spreadsheet with random details and we will check whether automatically without any manual efforts, a new client is created in Prevair or not. So let's start with the name. So I'm going to enter a random name as, let's say, dummy lead, a random email, lead source. I'm going to enter as, let's say, Pabli, and now a random phone number. Done. So we have entered the data up till trigger column. That means the response of this row will be added automatically in Pabli Connect. So let's go and check on preview. And yes, here we can find that in the client section, a new client is created with the name as dummy user. That means our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully integrated Google Sheets with Preview. So in the same manner, you can create this automation very easily by following these steps. And this will enable you to automatically create clients in Preview from Google Sheets. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.